So stress is a normal response to situations. It can be physical stress, like whereby you're overworking your body. It can be emotional stress. It can be financial or it can be even be anything. Like it's normal for you to have stress if you're a human being. But you see, sometimes the level of stress can be too chronic and this is the dangerous part. This can be very dangerous to your health. My name is Lilian Mumina. I am a registered dietitian and in today's video I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can do to help you in managing stress. One of the things that you should do is actually take a walk, take a nature walk like this one. Like when I have so much things to think about, like I'm overthinking, I usually just go outside and take like 10 minutes or 15 minutes walk. It's very therapeutic, it's good for your physical well-being as well. There are studies to support the importance of connecting with nature, especially for your brain health or your mood. You see the green trees, uh, the skies, sometimes just even the fresh air can be very therapeutic. So when you're feeling like things are a bit overwhelming, just go outside, get some sun. Uh, in Kenya, we are lucky we have sun all throughout the year. Another thing that you can do is actually talk to someone about your worries or whatever is stressing you. Like if you have things that are overwhelming, a problem shared is usually half solved. And if you're like me, you don't want to burden people with your problems, you can always talk to yourself. Like self-record yourself, uh, listen to your problems and try and come up with solutions. I'm having some yogurt as well. Another thing that you can do is actually optimize your diet to ensure that your diet is rich in uh, healthy foods like colorful fruits and such things. And also taking things like omega has been shown to have very positive effects on your brain health and this will definitely help your body in dealing with the stressful conditions. Because you see, uh, stress affects how the body functions, your hormonal functions, your metabolic health, all these are affected by chronic stress. So it is important that you take care of your diet to ensure that you are in a better position to deal with the stressors of life. Because let me kid you not, if you are alive in this century, there's no way you're going to avoid stress. It's impossible. Eh? Put up things to ensure that you are ready when the stressors come. Some of the things that I actually advocate for are the things that you're going to do to actually feel good about yourself. And this does not involve alcohol or smoking or the binge watching of TVs and such. No, those are not therapeutic things when it comes to your brain. You need to do things like walking, you need to do things like healthy eating, taking care of your hydration levels, ensuring that you're well hydrated, sleeping well, and also taking care of your mind and soul. Some of the self-care habits that you can do are basically taking care of your rest, taking care of your diet, taking care of your physical well-being, working out, uh, going to bed early, ensuring that your house is decluttered because of the mental congestion eh? and also being good to yourself, eh? taking your probiotics, taking fermented foods, drinking water and just being you. It's very important in this life that we have where everything is structured, where things are just the way they are. So remember to take care of yourself, your loved ones, and just be good to yourself. It's very, very important. Sometimes uh, it's important that you adjust as well. One of the things that you can do is be like a child. Be teachable, be ready to learn how to adjust. 